We're trying some new things this year. Drip irrigation. That's what we're going to have going under our trees. Um, I've actually seen the Edge of Nowhere Farms YouTube channel videos. And they have a lot of drip irrigation. I probably don't need as much as they have because they live in Arizona. Which gets pretty much no rain. I think they said one year they got four inches of rain <laughs> in a year. Um, I live in Georgia. We probably average between 40 and 60. So we get way more than them. But the summers still are hot. And I want to take advantage of any advantage I can have to grow these fruit trees faster. So I threw in a $20 irrigation system. You can see. So I buried half of it underground and half of it's not. So if you look at that right there. That's one of them working under my persimmon tree. And you can follow it down and it goes underground right here. So I'm probably going to put some kind of colorful tag over here so I don't hit it with a lawnmower. Or some kind of weed whacker. But it goes underground here. And where does it come out? It comes out right here if you can see it. It comes out of ground and it goes to my other persimmon tree. And it comes out of here, goes back underground. So most of this one is actually underground. The only times it co it comes out is when it gets close to a tree, which I think is okay with me. This mulch should keep any kind of weeds from covering this up near the tree. I need to get they, they came with some stakes so I can stake these up so they can point up like this. Because that's one problem I'm having without staking them. Is they like to curl a certain way. I guess this will work because the roots should come out this far. So this will still work. I don't have to do that. But I probably will still do it. We go down the line. It goes on the ground right here. You don't see nothing. You don't see nothing. Until here it comes back out of ground. And here where it connects to my water hose. So at the end, other end of this water hose. What I'm going to have is... Uh, a timer one of those times where I can set it to go off go turn on every three days or every once every week water for a certain amount of time like maybe an hour or maybe 30 minutes I don't know what I'm gonna do yet but that's gonna be awesome I'm not gonna have to water all these plants by hand which I would never ever do anyway <laughs> but this is gonna help me not have to do that on those hot summer days this is awesome so this part right here I have not buried and I need to you can see it coming out of that under my citrus tree under my miho satsuma coming out this is awesome I don't know I, I think this is worth a shot for anybody who has fruit trees and trying to grow them faster and bigger it's to set up drip irrigation it's super easy it was way easier than I thought it would be only thing that I would say to be aware of is where your placement of your trees are you kind of gotta know t to know whether you need to bury them underground or not so in this case right what i have right here i'm definitely gonna have to bury this underground because i'm gonna have a lawnmower that i have to, a riding lawnmower that i'm gonna have to ride through here and cut stuff and i'm not gonna be taking that up every time i mow the lawn which is probably like once a week or once every two weeks i'm not picking up my drip irrigation so back there in the back where I just showed y'all, it's not as bad because um, I'm going to mulch most of all of that. So it's going to be fine. But this right here, I'm not mulching this. So I need, when I do get my drip irrigation from over here, I really do need to um, bury it underground from each tree to each tree. And also, I think at the beginning of the year, I might just let the sprinklers get these and kind of see the difference. I'm going to have two timers. I'm going to have one timer already set up, like I said, for the one that I just showed y'all. And then I'm going to have a timer for these, which are going to be on sprinkler for the beginning, unless I decide to put up my second irrigation. Um, if I do, I'm going to start back there. So these are going to get early sprinkler. The other one's going to get drip irrigation. Both going to be on timers, and we're going to see how they play out either way all of this stuff is going to get watered a lot this year that's one part 
that I have not been keeping up with. I haven't been fertilizing these trees as much as I should last year. Kind of neglected them on fertilizer, and I neglected them on water. I'm not doing that this year, and we're going to see what the difference is.